Hi guys, we are starting our next lesson on the Russian language course. In this lesson we will talk about two letters. These letters are very special letters in Russian language. They called Mekkiznak and Tvrdiznak in Russian. In English we can call it soft sign and hard sign. These letters don't represent any sound. These letters are also called separating letters. In fact, these letters separates private and subsequent letters from each other. For example, atelier, barrier, neabiatne. Pay attention on pronunciation. When we pronounce these words, for example, atelier, the soft sign or miakiznak, how it's called in original, separates the private letter L from subsequent letter Y. Atelier. It can filled in pronunciation. These letters are not used only as a separators, but also have a number of other features. As you can see from their names, these letters soften the letter that precedes it in the example of Mekkiznak or harden it in the example of Tvrdiznak. In addition, as we said in one of our previous lessons, the separators Mekkiznak and Tvrdiznak indicate that the letters Ya, Ye, Yo and Yu, which comes after these letters, is pronounced with two sounds, first which is being the consonant E. Uh, you can find more information about this in our previous lessons. First of all, let's talk about the letter Tvrdiznak or hard sign in English. Tvrdiznak separates the vowel sound from the consonant sound like the letter Mekkiznak or soft sign. The difference here is that, uh, as we said, Mekkiznak is soften the private consonant, but Tvrdiznak is hard on the consonant that precedes it. Therefore, his name is a hard or solid sign. But in our lesson, we will call it by its original name, Tvrdiznak. For example, the word Siel uses a Tvrdiznak. Here, the sound C that comes before Tvrdiznak is a hard consonant. Pay attention to the pronunciation here. I'm not saying Siel. I'm saying Siel, more harder. Siel, I pronounce it more harder. Pay attention on my pronunciation. I'm not saying softer, like Siel. I'm saying harder, Siel. This hard sign, or how we called it, Tvrdiznak, comes only before the letters Ya, Ye, Yo, and Yu. Don't forget this. The Tvrdiznak comes only before the letters Ya, Ye, Yo, and Yu. But when? Does it always come before these letters? Of course not. There are a number of conditions for this. The first, Tvrdiznak, comes after the prefixes ending in a consonant and separates the prefixes from the root of the word. For example, as you can see in the word Padjest. Pay attention on this. The letter Tvrdiznak is used between the prefix Pod and the root Jest, the root of the word of Yechet. Note that the prefix Pod here ends in a consonant. Okay, it's our first condition. And now let's look the second one. It is similar with the previous condition. The letter Tvrdiznak is also used in compound words, uh, the first part of which is numerals dvuch, trioch, and четырёх. For example, трёхярусный. As you see, it is almost similar with the first condition. The difference between it that the first condition we must used the prefixes, but in second we use numerals dvuch, trioch and четырёх. And the final condition. In the foreign words entered into Russian from the other languages, after the foreign prefixes up, ad, this, in, inter, con, counter, op, sub, trans, tvrdiznak is used. For example, adjutant, injekce, Объект, субъект, транс-европейский, 
and so on. Okay, if we pay attention to the word transarktyczki, we will see that the letter of tvrdeznak is not used here. The reason, as we have said, is that a tvrdeznak comes before the letters ya, ye, yo, and you. In the word transarktyczki, the letter a, which is the first letter of the word arktyczki, comes after the word trans, but not another word of the same rule. This word trans -Europeyski. As you see, the first letter of this word is the letter ye. And that's why after the prefix trans, we must use the separator tvrdeznak. And now let's talk about the letter mekkiznak, or soft sign. As you can see from the name, this letter softens the letter that precedes it. Let's see this with an example. For example, in the word Ichenia, the letter mekkiznak is used. If you pay attention, mekkiznak softens the consonant n that comes before it and separates the letter N from the letter Y. Pay attention to pronunciation. Ucheni. As you see, the letter N separates from letter Y on pronunciation. Now let's remove the letter Mekiznak from this word. And we get Ucheni. Okay. Pay attention to differences on pronunciation. Ucheni. Ucheni. As you can see, the pronunciation has changed. And in general, such a word like ucheni doesn't exist in Russian. The letter mek is not is used in the middle of the word, but not after the prefixes, and is used to separate the consonant which comes before from the letters e, ye, u, and ya that come after the consonant. For example, karier, view, borya, padzechi. Simia, Rujio, Nochu, Chia, Piu, Shiu. Okay, just remember that the letter Mac is not is not used after the prefixes. At the same time, the letter Mac is not can be used at the end of the words. That is, even if we call this letter separator, it may not always act as a separator, as in the word uchenye. Let's look to the word agon. In this word, mekizna comes at the end of the word and it doesn't separate in a letter. So there is no letter to separate in the word after it. Here, mekizna is simply softens the sound that comes before him, agon. It is necessary to pay some attention to this letter because the fact that this letter is not used in the word may result in a different meaning of the word. For example, if we take the letter Mekiznak in the word Khor, this word will have a completely different meaning. Khor. Let's look at another example. If we take the Mekiznak in the word Ugl, then it will mean Ugl. As you see, it is very necessary to pay attention to this letter. In the middle of the word, mek is not is used after the soft consonant L. But if there is a double L in the word, then mek is not is not used. For example, gullibuy, alleya, illusia. As you can see, there is not used mek is not. I would like to bring to your attention, in some foreign words which transferred from another language to Russian, the letter Mekizna can also be used before the letter O. For example, Batalion, Bullion, Gilatina, Carmaniola, Campagnon, Minion, Pavilion, Pachtalion, Champignon, and so on. At the same time, the letter Mekizna, which doesn't act as a separator, has a grammatical feature. So, it indicates the gender of the noun. So, in Russian, nouns are divided into three parts according to gender. Male, female and middle gender. We'll talk about this in detail when we study the nouns. However, for now, know conditionally that if the letter Mac is not doesn't act as a separator, as in the example of the verb mush, then the letter Mac is not means that the verb mush belongs to the Feminine noun. If the letter mek is not is followed by the adjective suffix sk, 
which forms an adjective from nouns, then the letter Meknak in the word is not used. For example, Kazanski, Kemski, Sibirski, Zverski, Yanbarski. But there are exceptions to this rule. They are words of Sintyabrski, Aktyabrski, Nayabrski, Dekabrski, Iyunski, Dzenski, and Chinese names ending in Ni. For example, Yunyanski. These are exceptions. Apart from these exceptions, if the letter Mek is not is followed by the adjective suffix SK, which forms an adjective from nouns, then the letter Mek is not in that word is not used. So, in this lesson, we'll learn two specific letters Mek is not and Tvrdiznak. See you in next lessons.